Hey guys, welcome to my video. I just want to say that during the filming of this video, I made a lot of mistakes and I'm just gonna keep showing you guys my mistakes and maybe this isn't so much of a tutorial as it is a do's and don'ts because this is a don't and this is a do and uh, some of the products that I used just weren't working out for me and it was kind of disastrous and I'm feeling really frustrated and I'm not looking forward to editing this at all and uh, I literally look like a Tim Burton character so just disregard all that um, but welcome to the video I'm basically just putting up this video now because I just want to show that uh, this didn't work out <laughs> This is only my second time filming with this camera and I'm not really sure what the sound sounds like so I apologize if it's picking up everything around me and not me or if I'm too loud or too quiet. Um, my parents are watching TV and my sister is currently baking so yeah. Anyway, um, this should be up, hopefully, on St. Patrick's Day. So I wanted to do a green look, I know, really really out of the box, really out of nowhere, a green look on St. Patrick's Day. First I'm going to prime my eyes and I am using the Makeup Revolution London Conceal and Define Full Coverage Conceal and Contour. This concealer is pretty good and I've been really liking it. It's basically an amazing dupe for um, if you're looking to replace your Tarte Shape Tape, or even if you're looking to um, just get a new concealer, this is a really good one too, and it's about $7, and you can find it in your local Ulta. Right now, I am just patting that concealer over my lid, and I am patting it in because that is going to set it. I recently just learned this from, well, Nikki Tutorials just recently did it, and she kind of explained it a little bit more step by step. Um, but basically, the new trend that's going around is instead of setting your eyes with setting powder, they're leaving it unset and just letting the pigment really grab onto the concealer. Now this is something that I feel like I have done before but was like kind of frowned upon. But right now, for the British um, makeup artists are really making waves in their techniques, like Stacy Marie Mua and Mama M -M Mitchell. Those are two really amazing British makeup artists account so you should for sure follow because their techniques are unlike anything I've ever seen before and I just think that they have a lot to teach us so if those if you're looking for some new accounts to follow definitely check them out um, I love Mitchell I want he's here on YouTube as well he has his own channel I just think that he is just adorable. This is our base that we're going to work with and let's go into the makeup part and I'm going to bring you guys closer so you can see a little bit more of what I am doing. I'm mostly going to be using this palette. It's called Emancipation. Um, you Can Be eyeshadow palette. It is from Juno & Co and it has a lot of green shadows in it so I feel like it's going to be perfect for what I'm trying to do. I haven't really gotten to play with this eyeshadow palette too much so I'm looking forward to it but what I have used from it I've been really really impressed let me just show this is what the subculture palette looks like and this is what the you can be palette emancipation looks like I mean they're pretty much the same thing. This is basically a pretty good dupe for the subculture palette and this one's called Emancipation and it was about $9 online. There is a kind of sandy orange color in this palette that I think will do nicely and I'm just going to start plotting that down on the outer corner and just I'm not even stippling, I'm just patting across the lid and across 
the crease where my natural crease is. Lightly above it because I have kind of hooded eyes. Now I'm gonna go in with this kind of mustard yellow color. Do they, they don't have names, I'm sorry. And just pat that over top and blend it up towards my eyebrow and blend it over towards my nose. This one is kind of an olive-y color, and I am just going to plop that down right on top of the shades that I had previously laid down, and work it up towards the crease. And it's okay that I'm losing the yellowy and orangey shade because that was just there to help make this color look like I didn't just set it down, you know? So I'm just taking what's left on that brush and blending it up and out and over. So now there's kind of a foresty green that I'm going to work with next and I'm just gonna pop that down as well. I'm actually going to bring this a little further across my lid before I go into the crease, which is also my next step, but I just want this one to really cover the most of my lid. Next I'm just going to take a little bit of the same concealer and on a little flat brush take some concealer on it and start to carve out half of my lid. with the concealer. When you're doing a cut crease, it's important that you just look straight ahead. And that's what I'm gonna do for our cut crease. Next with a packing brush, I'm going to take this shade right here by Ofra. This is called Gold Rush Eyeshadow. And I am just going to pat that over the lid area that I covered with concealer. But as you can see, it's not perfect. But that is alright because I'm going to go back and take a smaller brush. This is by BH Cosmetics. Ooh, can you see it? There we go. And go back in and I'm just going to take that darker green, the darkest green, and just start to pat it and kind of slide it over the gold shade that I just put down getting a little bit of fallout this time and I just want to darken up around the gold and that is not looking pretty. Next I'm taking another BH Cosmetics. This is just a little blending brush and I am just going to blend that all together. I don't know guys not a fan of how this is looking and I feel like I just took away a lot of that pigmentation from the outer corner adding this out got quite a bit of fallout there's also a shimmery brown shade that came in the palette and I am just patting that right where the gold and the green meet and I'm going to attempt to clean up the mess that I just made. Ugh. Taking a fluffy, this is a BH Cosmetic Taper Brush. Going back into that Ofra Gold. And I just really want to show how shimmery and shiny and beautiful it is. Kind of take away the power of the green that I tried to lay down. This might be one of those looks that's really ugly until you put on like liner and lashes. Now I'm going to sweep that green over so that it looks like it's blending into the gold. I really don't like that it's not sticking on the outer corner. With my Pure Cosmetics spray, I'm going to give my eye a little spray from about 10 inches away. Try to give it a sticky base. Oh my god, I just got that in my mouth and that was 
horrific. I'm laying down some of that forest green. I just need to make sure that it has a sticky base because it just was not wanting to pop down before. And then I'm going to go over it again with that cooler toned green. Really beautiful green. Uh oh, I might be in trouble. Because that had fallout and my skin is sticky. Okay, I'm I'm gonna try to not freak out about that, but I'm screaming inside. You know, like in the teenage Instagram, I'm screaming like I'm like literally I'm like ah! This might have to be one of those looks that I'm like, well you know, I didn't like the outcome, but I filmed it, so here you go. Not all of them are winners. I am just going to take that olive green and run it under my eye. Go over it with that forest green. Bringing it pretty close to the corner of my eye, which was not my plan. Do I even really have a plan at this point? A lot of blue right here. I'm trying to fix that by just dusting some setting powder over it. Jeez Louise, I can't wait to do the other eye. That's honestly like as good as I'm gonna get it right now. I am going to put on mascara and some lashes and I'll be right back. Okay, I started on my other eye and let me just say, this is the difference between using a really good brush between a not really good brush. I couldn't remember the brush that I was using for this eye and so I just started using my go-to like fluffy Morphe brush. Look at how much better it's blending out. Do you see how like seamless and effortless it looks? Whereas this is like so incredibly just like round and this one actually looks blended. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to talk through this eye and see if I can get it looking better than this eye because this is a bloody shame. Like I'm embarrassed at how terrible this one came out. So let me talk through this eye because hopefully it'll be better and uh, and that'll be that. So what I did was I, I went, went in with that sandy color again and then the mustard yellow on top. Then I went in with the olive color and right now I'm on the forest green and I am just blending that out with this really fluffy brush and it just looks so much better already but you know what you guys you live and you learn now I'm getting the excess off of that and I'm going into the last green in the palette and I'm literally just focusing this on the outer corner because it really does have a blue hue to it. Now I'm so carefully just dragging it over into the crease. But it looks so much better. Ugh, I'm such a fool. Always stick with your go-to brushes, you know what I mean? Now I'm going to clean off that brush because it's starting to look really uniform. I want it to look blended out, so I am just running over that with the same brush, but I took off a lot of the excess. I'm going over it so lightly because I don't want to take away the pigment that I've already laid down. And it's a little patchy right here, so I'm just going to add a smidge more. Look at the freaking difference. I've used a few of the colors in this palette before, not any of the green shades, but I was just expecting them to be as impressive as the other ones since I said this was a $9 palette and it's a dupe for a really expensive palette. I was super excited, but um, I mean, what can you expect? Alright, so I think I'm going to stop playing around with the green. I'm going to cut the crease out again, taking a little bit of concealer and once again looking straight ahead, just blotting the area that I want it to be in, need to be a little bit more round. And I'm going to leave that alone. Lord 
knows I've already had enough trouble going back in with the Ofra gold shade and just packing that onto the concealed lid. I'm not going to touch that because I'm satisfied. Take a little bit of the forest green and just start to blend that over on top of the gold. See what looks like half of a butterfly's wing? This might be the best cut crease I've ever done. I'm pretty impressed actually. I try to avoid doing cut crease because they really intimidate me. Uh, still taking the brush that the palette came with. Going to do the bottom lash, the bottom lash line, the bottom lash line using the olive green. And I'm not going to come all the way over to the lid or to the inner corner because that didn't work out so well the first time. So now I'm going over that with the foresty green. And on top of that with the kind of bluish green shade. There's a shimmery green shade in here, this one right here, really pretty. And I'm just gonna take that on that fluffy side again and just pull it over. I feel like it's not really showing up, but it's giving a really cool effect. I'm actually gonna take this same green and just go over the outer edge of the gold because I feel like that would be a cool look. I actually like this green on top of the other shades. And then for the inner corner, I'm going to go in with this, the lightest shade in the palette, which is this white shade. It's like a white shade and it has a pink shift in it. It'll get the job done. So that's what we're looking like for the eye. So let me just put on some mascara and some eyelashes and I'll be right back. Alright guys, I just decided not to put on any fake eyelashes. I I think I'm just really frustrated with how this whole like video came together. But like even the lipstick that I tried out is like streaky and gross. I think I'm just a little frustrated and I'm gonna film a look right after this. Hopefully that one will go a little bit better. I I think what we can take away from this video safely is that is that makeup, uh, although it's, it's very fun, uh, can be super frustrating and even when you feel like you know what you're doing, you can still completely not know what you're doing. I look like a character from Coraline. I definitely like this eye more. It, it looks like I spent more time on it and I actually spent less time on it. Spent more time on this one and it looks like poop. I look crazy. I didn't even do eyebrows or anything. Jeez. What I want to give to you guys in this video is the fact that I'm still a fool when it comes to stuff like this. I actually haven't been filming in a while because I've just been trying to just practice on my own and uh, kind of hone my skills a little bit more so that I could give you guys the content that you deserved and the content creator that you deserve. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Drive safe if you guys are drinking. Um, call an Uber. <laughs> you know, don't, don't drink and drive. Comment down below what you're doing for a thing Thanksgiving. Comment down below what you're doing for St. Patrick's Day. I would love to hear all about it. Tag me on your St. Patrick's Day look on any social media. I would love to see it. Thanks for watching. Sorry that it sucks, but what can you do? You know what I mean?